All right. Terry is unfortunately wounded. He'll be out of action for a few days. All right, 20 mil. Oh, new facility available. Workshop. Each workshop adds five engineers to our staff. Adjacency bonus. 10% refund on resources used when building vehicles, foundry projects, and facilities. Use the build facilities option in engineering to construct this facility. Yeah. So, right. abduction missions are good to decrease panic in places that you can, but they but the also two pla- increase the two places that you don't select that you don't go. Yeah. Now, is that by two? What's that? How how is it is it increased panic by two? Um. Yeah, I think it might be two. Yeah. So that's a, that as the game goes on. That's another thing in addition to like the rewards and and whatever is something you have to take into account is what place is already panicking. Uh, you know, if like a place is, you know, like on the on really high panic, you might want to, you know, pick that one just to calm them down so that they don't leave the project. Right. And they, they do it based on regions. So Canada was in North America. And uh, oh, yeah, I believe the, the one you selected actually it benefits the whole region, doesn't it? Yeah. So the 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 uh, country itself that has the abduction goes up by two. And I think the countries in that region go up by one. Because you see Brazil is now at two panic, whereas Argentina, where the abductions were, was at three. Okay. And Oh, oh yeah, and, and South Africa is is up by one, and Nigeria is up by two. So, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So. now And now when a, if, a, uh, if a country gets up to five bars, then if you don't get that down b- to below five before the end, before the end of the uh, funding period, then they will withdraw from the project. Right. right. I think they might immediately withdraw if they get to five bars and then you continue to ignore them. And then they and then it goes up like if it goes beyond five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that means less resources, less money, and if enough of them withdraw from the project, it will be canceled and the world is doomed. Yeah. So we're gonna scan and get the xenobiology project done. The lives of our troops, so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuro- at close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Okay, so now they want us to capture an alien alive. Yeah. So... Ooh, new object. Capture a live alien. Construct the alien containment facility. Research the art and build the arc thrower. Capture a live alien and interrogate. Hey, why don't, why don't you read this report? All right. We've managed to successfully map the alien specimen's entire genome, although I wasn't entirely sure it would be possible using our existing DNA sequencing techniques. However, our success has led to the startling realization that this creature's genetic structure is quite similar to our own. This discovery has piqued the interests of the research team, as it only raises more questions as to the origin of this species. Having examined several of the alien's corpses, We've also observed a trend key component of the alien's genetic structure are mirrored perfectly across each of the specimens. Although it is presumptive at this point to draw conclusions as to how this is possible, I believe it is only logical to assume this alien is the product of aggressive genetic engineering, well beyond anything conceived of on Earth. If the aliens are truly capable of this sort of manipulation on a cellular level, I fear we may only have scratched the surface of their technological advances over us. In any case, further research is imperative, and while we're ob- while we've obviously made a number of discoveries working with the alien corpses, I feel we may need to acquire a living specimen if we truly hope to find the answers to these questions. Alrighty. So the aliens show signs of a lot of genetic engineering, and apparently like the, the same genetic engineering in each of them. 
So uh, we can now build the alien it. containment facility. Secure an environment to house alien captives. So the arc thrower, priority. You know, just because it says priority does not mean we have to do it. In fact, okay. uh, what the priority means is actually how the story progresses. Yeah. The quicker you do priority missions, the faster you progress and the more aggressive the aliens become. In so you might actually want to, you actually might want to hold those off at times then. Yeah. So those normal projects are still available. So would we, what do you think? Weapon, alien materials, meld, or sectoid autopsy? Um, hmm. Weapons are always fun. Yeah. has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. Alrighty. Alright, now... and so the engine number of engineers has increased, you'll notice. Yep. To nine. nine. I don't know if that's going to... Yeah, yeah. So, the base cost uh, to build the satellite was five engineers, and because we have four bonus engineers, it's actually reduced the cost to build a satellite. Okay. It was 100 before, now it's 77. And because we now we can't we can't going. build a new one until we have a satellite uplink that can support it, right? Right. And so and satellite uplinks are a type of facility that can be built. Yeah. That's and round we go. So the ship transfer has happened. So I'm gonna go to. All right, now I'm gonna launch over France. Yeah. France. Confirm. And reward, 200, all right. Money can be pretty tight in this game, especially early on. Yeah. That 200, whatever it is, is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah. So that is actually going to be coming in at the end of the month. I believe. Nope, comes in immediately. I'm wrong again. Okay. Now, doesn't it take a couple of days for, like, the satellite to actually reach orbit and start detecting stuff? Yeah. Okay. So you that little bit there about a Commander Straker ranting about Shadow Operatives is uh will be important a little bit later. Okay. So for right now, uh, we still lack uh, the engineers to build an additional satellite uplink, but we can build a workshop, and that will add some engineers to staff. Wait, now why can't we build the satellite uplink? Satellite uplink needs ten engineers. We have nine. Oh, okay. But we have enough to build the workshop, which I right. think now, will be... Now, when you're deciding where to position... No, don't, don't, the position thing is, keep, keep in mind, oftentimes having the same type of facilities adjacent to each other gives a bon additional bonuses. Right. So, so you want to plan where you build stuff with that in mind. Yeah. So I don't want to build... I could build a workshop here, but if I build the satellite uplinks next to each other, both of them get a bonus satellite. Yes. And so, that it's yeah. like a free satellite uplink, uh, which I don't want to use right now. And then so. if I build it here, I would lock myself off from the power generator. Do does it do, does it can does it work out vertically as well? Yeah. Okay. So you, if you nest like four of them right here, you can get four bonus satellites. Right. Okay. Which yeah. actually takes care of having to build any more. Um hmm, I think I might Go ahead and build the workshop here. Okay. Now you do have that uh, that steam tile, which lets you build the geothermal plant, and that is really good. Yeah. So once I get some more cash, I can build the access lift mine here, mm -hmm. and then build the geothermal, and mm -hmm. that will work with regular power generators too. Oh, does the company? Oh, okay. Does it? Yeah. Okay. So later on, I can move the power generator from here to say over here, over here. And get the bonus okay. that way. Okay then. Um, costs ten to excavate, and I do need a place to put the alien containment facility, so I'm going to do that. Uh, and then I'm going to also manufacture a satellite. You should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Okay. Wait, how are you? Wait, how are you allowed to build a satellite? I can build satellites. I can't launch them. Oh, you can. Oh, you can build them and have them reserved. Okay. Yeah. I thought. 
I guess I thought you needed to have the uplink before you could actually even build. Uh, there's a bunch of warnings that tells you not to do it, but you oh, can okay. build the satellites as much as you want. Okay. So I have one in the in the chamber right now, being worked okay. on. Uh, and 160 extra dollars. Um, I could build another one. Yeah, I think I might manufacture another one. Okay. Well, the satellite, each satellite uplink, by default, gives you two, gives, lets you launch two more. Yeah. And then we'll get a, th and we'll have a third because of the the adjacency bonus. Right. So. Um. And as I said, it's good. You want to get as many satellites up as quickly as you can. Yeah. And so this is the officer training school. Yeah. This gives you various bonuses to your, uh, uh, your men, including among the most important is letting you increase the size of your uh, squad team. Yeah. You start off. It's only four. The maximum you can get is six. Yeah. I kind of wish. I appreciate them not wanting to do like you could have like like twelve or sixteen in the original, and it got kind of unwieldy. I understand them not wanting to go that far. I kind of wish it could have it maxed out at like eight or something. Yeah, it would be handy. Six is a little small. Um, let's take a quick look at the different stats real quick. So we we used um, not created equal, and what was the other one? Uh, hidden potential. Hidden potential. So starting stats are randomized, and stat growth is randomized. So it used to give you base stats for whatever class they would come into. Yeah. Will, aim, and all that. And now they're mm -hmm. random. So Ken actually, like you said, has a pretty good aim, 81, especially for a support. Whereas Chun-Li, who's a sniper and should specialize in aiming, has slightly worse aim. Less than... than yeah. Uh, Ryu is a... Terrible aim. Terrible aim, but he's also got a giant machine gun, so that's not really yeah, his true. prerogative. Oh, Sonya has <laughs> less aim Sonya... than Chun-Li. No, but Sonya Blade has a will of steel. Look at that. 47. 47. Yeah. Uh, Shao Kahn, bad aim, but again, shotgun. Pretty good will. Nice. Oh, look at that aim. Yeah. And hey, Achi. Oh, pretty and he's a sniper. Oh, yeah. oh, wow, yeah. Morgan's. Wait, does he, have, does he have more than Sonya? What did Sonya have? Go back. 47. Oh, so he has a higher will than her, too. Yeah, 55. 81 oh. aim. Oh, and he has six and he has six hit points instead of where some people have. Okay, Heiachi Mishima is basically a god among men here. Yeah, Shao Kahn also has six. Well, fittingly enough. So uh, Morgan has five. Of course, not. although now we're looking at people who are only level one. Everyone's only level one. So yeah. It's... But let's see here. My 59 shot. will. My, it, it, well, it, it takes a lot of confidence to wear as little as she does, you know. So it's true. It makes sense. Oh, 80 aim for y Yuri Sakazaki. 57 will for Sakura Kasagano. That is one, that is, that is one tough school, school girl. Indeed. And Terry Bogard. Oh, 85. 80, a ridiculously high aim for a shotgunner. Although you know, it's a will of only twenty nine, that could be a problem. Yeah. Will affects like, um, like morale checks, I believe. Yes. And uh, and later on, your ability to use and to resist psionic powers. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the other thing that will affects is panicking, and uh, which can go up or down based on how many deaths of squad mates. Yeah. Uh, if things are going if. If things are going badly, then guys can freak out and you, they, they'll do whatever that turn. You can't control them. And they'll often do something foolish like go, you know, running, leaving cover and, you know, running for it or whatever. Sometimes although shooting. Sometimes shooting while they, although sometimes they will actually shoot and kill an alien while panicking. Yeah. It actually can work to your advantage sometimes because, like, pan like, they panic on the alien's turn, they flip out, and then they kill shit. But generally speaking, you don't panic. Oh, our first, our first UFO contact.